Automotive technology is a constantly changing field. And one that requires more than just classroom learning. A group of students at Virginia State University are learning more about automotive engineering. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to the start. So we're going to use G41. So do the same uh, calculation. And getting up to speed, literally. That's what we, we, we divided the forces out. The students are participating in a national program sponsored by the Society of Automotive Engineers. If that works, um, we'll actually make the real thing out of aluminum. So, like you asked earlier, what, what the number N was? Yeah. Uh, Their mission is to create a Formula One race car, a painstaking process that takes them all the way from design to manufacture. This car to the, the bolt, the center of the bolt. This One of our problems for the other uh, car was that we couldn't find enough space for, so for a differential mount. We are designing this car from scratch. All right, so we got to get some measurements. We got to get this motor positioned correctly with the frame so that we can take measurements on how we're going to actually mount it. A lot of the, the parts that we make are, are something that we have designed and, and, and made ourselves. So we take the materials, the raw materials, and we change them into the parts that we need for this car. So it's completely made from scratch. Um, I put the convergence in here for you so you don't gotta... Yeah, I mean, SolidWorks does that for me too. If you don't have no like space, that. we just want you to be comfortable. Oh. Students brainstorm for ideas about how they want the car to look and operate. Oh yeah, yeah, we can make the tabs as thick as we want. With the aid of computer software, they can see how their ideas will work in reality, um, I put the right down to the smallest part. And that seemed to be a lot of force to it. We have to work on the computer in virtual reality with these parts. We have to build them from the ground up, and we have to test them in the computer through simulations to make sure that, to as, far, as far as we can tell, that it's going to be able to stand the forces that we're going to be acting on it. And then we're going to repeat from this line. Once the design is fine-tuned to their satisfaction, the parts are made from raw materials and carefully assembled. We usually go from the outside in, so the outside being the frame, the, uh, the wheels and such, the brakes, the systems, all the lines and everything, and the electrical, and all, at the end it all comes together. The entire process takes several months and teaches students not only about engineering matters, but also about working together toward a common goal. This is not a project that can be handled with one or two persons. This is a huge uh, project and needs collaboration, not only from the engineering students, but needs to have multidisciplinary. That means students must consider more than just the parts and how they work together. There are also business concerns, like cost effectiveness and person-centered details, like comfort, and ergonomics. Come on, keep straight with it. Let's go. Right here. All right. And when the finishing touches are in place, it takes time to see if their hard work has paid off. When we unload the car for the first time, it's like the moment of truth. Like, is it going to run the way we want it to? Is it going to go around the track as fast as we need it to? It's nerve wracking because you really want to see it work. You really want to hear the engine start. You really want to make sure that there's not one thing wrong with the car that everybody put so much time into making. Right before the car started, I was thinking of, of every mechanical failure and everything that could probably possibly go wrong with the car for it not to start. Watching the proof of their dedication and effort race around the track is an exhilarating experience for the students.
especially the ones who get to take the wheel. Make sure you don't over rev it. Over rev the clutch. Yeah, so okay. uh, probably around, when you get to like four, that's when you start to over rev it and stuff. So try to get to five. Okay. If you can. Right. When I stepped into the car for the first time, I was good to go. Start her up, make sure she's at the right temperature. I just wanted to open that throttle up on the straightaway and just really see what she had. When I got down that straightaway, it was a rush. Because I was just seeing everything fly by me. I'm proud of my classmates for really becoming a group and really coming together as one and getting an objective done. You still stay within the cones except when you got down like halfway. Yeah. The project is an experience these students will draw on for their entire careers and it gives them an immediate point of pride to work from when seeking employment after graduation. Companies recognize when a student is in this program and understand that they have the hands-on experience and are able to, to use the theories and, and things that they learn in class and actually apply them to real life. We're still students in college. Some of us, you know, the younger of us, just got out of high school and we can already say, oh, in my first year, I built a car. But their participation in the program is more than just a career booster and a bragging right. It is part of the students' overall philosophy as Trojans. Here at Virginia State, we like to focus on building a better world. And the Society of Automotive Engineers, in my opinion, is an opportunity for not only building a better world, but for building a better future for ourselves.